Finally, another plan shop tour! Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, my name is Rose. My pronouns are she, her. And today I am at one of my favorite plant shops, the Bosrand in Oesge. So I'm gonna show you around. And I have been getting a lot of questions. When is Costa Rica part two coming? I am actually editing it. It's going really well, but I find more and more footage that I really wanna use, like the drone footage and the GoPro footage. So I cannot get it done for you this week, but I'm hoping to get it done next week. So Costa Rica part two is coming up. For now, we're gonna look at a lot of beautiful house plants. And we're actually gonna start on the opposite side of the shop than I normally do, just to keep things fun, why not? We have huge monsteras. These are actually all on sale. So if you're looking for a big plants, they have great deals right now, 40% off, I think. Beautiful Florida greens or Floridas, smaller monsteras. Look at this baby, so cute. On the other side, more 40% off plants, mosaic, Calathea or whatever it's called now. We have some Dracaena and some huge philodendron actually here. This looks to me like philodendron biopanifolium for super tall for half price almost. Big fiddle leaves as well. The little terrarium corner is always something I check out because I got some cool plants from here like the obovata and I know what is it called? Uh, Calathea oh something. I forget the name. What is happening? Syngoniums, but this is doing really well in my terrarium, even though it's gonna be huge, I know, but for now it's good. Different colors, Syngoniums, Epipermnum aureum, lots of stuff underneath the table as well. And some of the water plants, not really my style, but this looks very beautiful actually. This Schifflera on like a, I don't know, rock with some water. Interesting, but let's head over to the actual house plant section. We have a lot of big plants, like this is a Peperinum aureum, but this is the more top leaves. They're very, very mature. Oh, I always forget the prices. This is about 36 euros, the big one. Small one, 16. Huge ZZs as well, which a lot of you commented on the last tour that I should try a ZZ. I still have not, but maybe a Raven ZZ. Oh, look at this beautiful pink leaf over here. Nice. These are all actually in that uh, like pond type of deal, but volcanic rock, lots of ficus, some strelitzia as well, and this philodendron with all the all the leaves. I forget the word, or no, it's actually not a philodendron anymore. It's a thematophyllum. Quick overview of the shop now that there's nobody walking here for privacy, of course. Lots of sansevierias, even the very cute. Remember when these were special to find them in a garden center? It's called Victoria here, the whale fin. Five euros, tons of them, and some have babies already. Also some nice lithops and other type of succulenty plants. Do you wanna know the price? Maybe I can find it, yes. Four. Of course, we always check the zebrinas for variegation. There you go. Just a variegated leaf though, it's not necessarily immediately a variegated plant, remember. Ooh, jungle boogie. This is the non-variegated form of the ring of fire. Price, 10 euros. One of the guys who works here actually did tell me it is Tuesday today and they get most of their plants in today or tomorrow, I think there's, it's not really full, but I think it doesn't matter because they always have amazing plants whenever, whatever day you go. So let's just keep going. Maybe this is what he means, beautiful orchids, but yes, I think there is a lot more incoming. Always a bestseller. Nice pots as well. Let's look over there, alocasias. Always a favorite, some alocasia black velvet for five euros. That's not a lot, whoa. Some polys, polys are also, oh, dwarf amazonica, also five. So I guess these don't grow very big. Dragon scales. These are in very small pots. They are seven and they are awesome. I'm happy mine is coming back from having some root rot. <laughs> Pink, what are they? Pink something. Pink dragon, seven euros. Always nice when they label correctly so that <laughs> when I forget, I can remember by just looking at the labels. And this it's labeled as Amazonica, but it looks also like the pink one. Some of the bigger ones. I don't know what this is. Is it some type of Schifflera? Yeah. 
Chiflera Golden Amate, 10 euros. And here's all the big alocasias. So we have Sabrina's for about 12 or 13. And some big ones, big, big ones. Ooh, and look at this. This is the Sarian that you don't often see for sale anymore. Look at this beautiful new leaf as well. Nice, what are these? 10 euros, incredible. The stems are really beautiful as well. I don't know if you know this, but that's the Zabrina stem. And this is the Sarian stem, purple. These leaves are really beautiful too. They're very neon colored, but a little bit more velvet. This is Xanthosoma. Xanthosoma frozen planet, 10 euros. Oh, almost skipped the huge caladiums. Look at all these pots, Miss Muffet. Muppet? Muffet? <laughs> this one, I don't know what it is. This one is definitely the Autumn Beauty. When you give this more light, it gets super red and pink. It's beautiful. One of my favorites. These are also 40% off. They're having a summer sale. And these are Miss Muffet is 23 minus 40%. That says Autumn Beauty, so it's actually labeled. This is Florida Moonlight. This is nice. I can learn now. When they label correctly, I can actually learn the names. This one is Red Flash. Okay, let me know in the comments if you love Caladiums and you agree with these labels. I think they're correct. That Autumn Beauty is amazing. There's some more on the other side. Of course, I'm gonna check it out because the labels on the things are, are a thing I love. <laughs> Miss Muffet, Florida Moonlight, White Cap, this one. Nice. And then we have a smaller one, Lemon Blush, 15 minus 40%. Lemon Blush. Okay, so it's lemony colored and then has a blush. Nice. If you've seen my videos before or seen my stories, you know that I'm really bad at remembering the Caladium names because there's so many and there's so many beautiful colors. But this is very helpful, so good job. By the way, this is not sponsored. On this side over on the left is the Philodendron Isle. Also, how cute are these setups? So we have White Measure, which is Philodendron Birkin. Look at them with the actual name on the label. I love it, seven euros. Beautiful. Some of these, I forget the name of these. Maybe I can learn again. Atom four, that's very cheap. We have some Florida greens in here. You can tell by the stem if you forgot. The um, ruffled petioles are Florida and the smooth petioles are Pedatum. Philodendron Florida, <laughs> four euros. Then some beautiful orange, Prince of Orange, I'm guessing. Let's see. Haha, -ha. Philodendron, Prince of Orange, 10 euros. For very full pots as well. This is not just one plant like mine. This is a full pot. Some other Philodendron type, the big leaves. I'm not so good at the names either. Imperial Red, six euros. And a bigger Jungle Boogie or Narrow. Narrow, five euros. Huge Monstera as well, but I probably can't see. Oh, I can see the label. 200. Wow, the roots are growing all over the table. We have some beautiful lemon limes. Mine is struggling. Malay Gold, four euros. I think I'm not watering it enough because it's with other big plants that don't need that much water. Ooh, look at this Birkin. This is a funky one. Because this, I think this is what it was created from. And this, you can still see the Birkin-y part. Nice. And some beautiful uh, Monstera Siltipacana. Beautiful variegation. The pots are very full, but I can find it. Philodendron Cobra, it's called, Cobra, it's called here in Holland. 13. And hairy stems. Always a good sign. Philodendron Squamiferum. Look at this new baby leaf. So cute. And the leaves are actually quite big. The price, Squamiferum, 17 euros for, I think about three plants in the pot or maybe four. So that's nice. Lots of hanging plants as well. We have some painted ladies sitting in the sunlight looking pretty. These are also on sale. They're big pots, 40% off of 90. Some bigger, well, this is actually really big painted lady. This goes into this pot. Price 40% off of 90 as well. More Prince of Orange, more Scumiferum, also beautiful Trelliscantias shining. 
And on this side, they actually have philodendron tortum. Remember when that was a hype? Oh, it's labeled here by Panetta Feedum. 19 euros. And there's two or maybe more plants in the pot. I don't think this is by Panetta Feedum because that's the leaves are shaped different. I think this is tortum. Tortum has just side bits and then by Panetta Feedum. Am I saying that? Is that true? No, I think I'm actually confusing things. So I think this is just tortum and then the one that I'm talking about is at the botanical gardens and they are very expensive and they're called something else, not by Panetta Feedum, but pinim 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 something. I forget, sorry. I'm not clearly an expert, I just have learned some stuff from making videos. Some very cool flowering or almost flowering bromeliads as well. Look at all of these colors and shapes. So funky. Also very cute pots in this thing. I really like them even though I don't know if they're practical because most of my pots are not this deep or like yeah, I don't know how to say, but they are very pretty. The common anthuriums, these are the plants that are grown like en masse here in Holland. All the different flowering anthuriums, which are beautiful, but I prefer the other ones, the velvety ones. Still fun to see maybe for people who don't know. These are the most common plant I think grown here in Holland. Lots of beautiful, look at this, begonias that are shining in the sunlight. They're so shimmery, super red as well. Oh, I'm forgetting prices again. Sorry guys, I haven't made a video like this in a while, so I keep forgetting the prices. These are seven for very full pots, also flowering already. Look at this, this is also beautiful, very silvery. What's your price, sir? Begonia Silver Jewel, 12. And then this nice greeny one, and the Listada, and some more hairy ones, Angel Wing common maculata they have a lot of begonias and even look at these little amphioxus that are blooming almost flowering almost open what's the price of this <gasps> two euros two euros for a little dart frog looking plant this one does want a terrarium type situation though so either like a cloche or plastic baggie high humidity definitely helps to keep this one alive it can be tricky in between the pots, there's also plants everywhere. This looks like Hoya Crinkle 8. Maybe we can find, there we go, 10 euros. Over on this side, you'll see why it's one of my favorite shops. So many variegated monsteras. Look at this little half moon baby. Let's see, maybe we can see the price. 70, nice, they went down. Beautiful, they have a lot of them. Up there seems to be the fuzzy petiole one <laughs> down here hiding some of my favorites alocasia cupria can we find the price we might see this in another spot as well but i want to show you 19 euros why are you hiding you're so pretty but i don't want to skip the rest of this this place because this is their huge variegated um epipremnum penatum look at this getting little holes and getting side holes and center holes and the leaves get so mature up there. <laughs> I'm trying to show you better, but also there's pots here that I don't want to throw over. You break it, you buy it. <laughs> so yeah, very, very mature leaves. Very cool. Down here is the Philodendron Escaletto for 300. Huge holes. These are not really my vibe, but for a lot of people they are, so. Holy monsteras are holy to some. <laughs> Here's another overview of the second part of the shop. And he actually showed me these still have to go up because plants come in every day. And he hung up one of them for us to see this huge Hoya David Kamingi for 13 euros. And it is covered in buds and flowers, which is amazing. These are so pretty and smell so good. It's one of the first plants in my house that flowered for me because it's just so easy and it's really nice. The smell is lovely too. My friend Ronja describes it as the Vertus original, like caramelly smell, really nice. And so easy to bloom, I really like this plant. I recommend it to anyone. Especially if you want to start with Hoyas, this is an easy one to grow and to flower. Let's take a sneak peek at their cart. Episcia, beautiful. Oh, these are gonna be very long. 
a string of pearls, Peperomia Hope, <laughs> string of bananas. I always feel a bit sneaky when I'm checking out the cards that have not been unpacked yet, but we gotta see what they have on their side. Also a few more Hoyas and Asginantes, if I'm pronouncing that right, I always forget, but these are the variegated Asginantes. Down here is a Hoya Crimson Princess. Looking really beautiful. These are 10. Oh, maybe we can find the price of the Asginantes as well. Yes. They are XL size 13 euros. Okay, we made it to the second part of the shop. Lots of Monsteras, which like I said, not really my vibe, but the Alensonis are five. Lots of Monsteras and a huge water banana, I think. I learned this when we were doing a tour in England, which I will still make a video about, but they told us, because I was always like, how do their alocasias grow so big with the stem in, in the ponds? And I was like, maybe I should water my alocasias more and they will grow into this. But then she said, no, it's actually not an alocasia. It's a water banana. I don't know the Latin name yet, but yeah, they grow stems like almost like a palm tree and then alocasia leaves on the top. And they apparently grow a lot in ponds and lakes and stuff. So check it out if you're interested. These are awesome. Then the carnivorous plant aisle. They have some Venus flytraps and some beautiful Saracenia, which uh, the colors are so beautiful. Some Nepenthes as well. Oh, prices. Do we want to know prices? 16, 17. And the Saracenia are nine. Sitting in water, so that's good. They're going to stay happy. Tiny little Nepenthes. What's your price, sir? Six. And the Droceras as well. I like these for the fungus gnats. So there's a lot of different kinds. The ones I don't currently see are the mm. Pinguiculas, which I really like. So I'm going to keep coming back until they have them again. I mean, it's like pieces of art, these pictures. Very nice. Oh, and look at these ones. So beautiful. And then these Bloody Mary. Little, uh, what's the word again? I haven't seen these in so long, I forgot the name. Raphidophora tetrasperma. Yes. Okay. These ones are 12. Another adorable setup with a beautiful squamiferum and nice pots. I really like those little cupboardy things. I think I guess they're also for sale for 400 euros. I have expensive taste. It reminds me of Indonesian style woodworking. Kind of skipping over the Aglionema Isle, even though these ones are beautiful. They're not really my vibe because they're poisonous for pets, but these are nine euros. They are very beautiful, I have to admit the velvet, but still. Now let's pan over to here. We have some philodendron, Brazil, a lot of hanging versions as well, and a silver sword, a very big one. Let's see, well, it's not very big for Dutch standards, but it's good size. 10 euros, nice. On the other side, we have some skindapses, different ones. This has a lot more velvet. This has less velvet. Oh, it has names. This is Pictus Argureus, 10 euros. And then this, Pictus Trubii, this is also 10. Nice. Down here is a Mykens, beautiful velvet, one of my favorites, for 12 euros. And a little philodendron neon, one of my favorites as well, so cute. Mykens Lemon, it's called, seven. I like how I keep finding random plants in between the pots. So this is a Maranta. Ooh, I forget, I forget. Uh, tricolor, something tricolor. And then over here, there's like a Hoya Pubicalix, I'm guessing. You can see this one. Seven, just sitting in between all the pots. This palm tree is one that my boyfriend wants, but we have expensive taste because this is 500 euros. Fuchia, something. But look, if I step back, how cute is that? We want that in our living room. Oh, and in front, there's a huge philodendron, maybe Macaulay's Finale. It has this trie that my plant has as well. This happens when it grows too quickly. So it's not a pest damage. It's just from the leaf coming out so quickly that the uh, rest of the leaf or the leaf forming, the green parts cannot keep up. It's too heavy to lift up and find a price for you, but I'll try another spot. Maybe we'll see it again. Mykens, another random Hoya that looks like black margins, so I don't know what it is. It's not labeled, just five euros. Very nice. 
the peperomia aisle plus lots of succulents very cute i love these uh, epiphyllum anguliger sinisho scaposus that's clearly not a name i've seen before such a cute little peperomia that i actually have in my terrarium i really like this one let's see the name peperomia burbella burbella cute these are all eight euros per piece over here is the big calathea aisle so we have macoyana oh yes prices seven or bifolia i found the name that i couldn't remember before seven these are a little bit bigger pinstripey one okay i'm just gonna skim over soft one always feel the back of these leaves it's worth it sanamfi triostar medallion big orbifolias bigger medallions bigger roof of barbas so many the big ones are 50 so will be between 15 and then 50 depending on the size fern aisle lots of beautiful crocodile ferns and all other sorts of ferns oh look like these are the um ah! platycerium bifu for bifurcatum i think they say in english bifurcatum in dutch five euros these are the what's the word in english i don't remember but the ones that make the shields hertzhorn varen in dutch some of my friends talk about these so often like daryl from houseplant journal and benji and yet i cannot think of the name nope nothing sorry Ooh, but as I was pondering the names, look what I found. The variegated fern that I've been wanting for our garden, even though I don't know if it will survive in the garden. Tiger fern, 13. These are very beautiful. I love variegated ferns because they're so structured. Their, their variegation looks very different than other plants. Not random at all, like very organized. So we might have to take one of those home. I remembered staghorn ferns. Jesus, I'm very happy I remember that. It was annoying. And I found some more as well, some big staghorns. Haha, <laughs> staghorn, staghorn, staghorn. Just making sure I don't forget again. Look at these. So beautiful. I love them mounted. Some of my friends have them mounted on a piece of wood or something. It looks very cool. Here from the other side, you can also see this fern again. Do you think I should buy it? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. It looks so cool. Oh, I found some nice begonias on the center table here. I don't know what this is. Begonia chingi pengi or something, 12 euros. It's very nice with so the back of the leaves has a nice pattern as well. Little ponytail palms that my cats always eat. Little oxalis with cute flowers. We're getting closer and closer to the very cool plant aisle, but I'm taking you around here and then we'll make it at the end to the coolest ones in my opinion. Some nice anthuriums, very full bushy ones. Oh, but we haven't seen this one yet. Variegated Schifflera, Schifflera Charlotte, four euros. Look at this, looking so cute. Very nice. Have you ever grown a Schifflera? I don't think I've ever had one as a houseplant, so I'm curious. Let me know if you find them fun, easy or difficult in the comments, please. Some more bigger philodendrons and also anthuriums here, more bird's nesty anthuriums. This looks like bipenifolium. Yes, 20 euros. Pachira aquaticas. Oh, cute little baby leaves. Mine is not so happy right now. Over here, some more syngoniums, more of the common ones. The hanging plant aisle. And the person who works here, actually, he always likes to show me the special things. And he told me already, they have margravias here in hanging pots. Five euros, margravia umbellata. Looks very nice. I have this growing in my terrarium, so you can grow it up a like up a wall and it will grab on with little roots on the bottom. But they have it also as a hanging plant. And I think it looks very cute like this as well. I love margravias because they often have this, maybe you can see it on this one. The older leaves have a different color than the new growth and it looks like a ombre effect. Very beautiful, five euros, that's really nice. Also some Seropigia woodii, seven euros. 
just the common ones and then some hoyas down here this looks like what they call china beans which is uh, wayeti yes wayeti or kentiana 10 euros down here we have some curtisi which are usually a little bit more expensive yes 16 very nice full pots oh look the silver lacunosas they label it Cronian Eskimo because that's what it's usually known as 12 euros. But from Hoya groups, I know that these are mostly all the time Lacunosa silver. And we call it silver now because Eskimo is not a particularly good word. Hoya Memoria. There's so many. Oh, some, I think these are um, Pibicalix. Splash, 10 euros. Some fishtail Hoyas, Polynura. Uh, mine is almost dead, struggling a lot, 10 euros. And some Breviolata type Hoyas as well, labeled as just Hoya, 10 euros. Are you ready for the special plant aisle? Let's head over this side first. So you've already seen the Monsteras that were in more places because they have so many. These are now 70 instead of 90, so price drop, hello, awesome. Also, pink princesses. I'll find the price in a second. Oh, and look, here hiding is a huge Monstera Dubia or Dubaya. Where is it going? It's very long. All the way down there. So pretty. These are 35. Then we have some Pipers. I remember when I first saw these in a garden center. It was also a Bosrand, actually. Piper Sylvaticum, 20. And then back here is a very cool Syngonium. I don't know what it is, maybe batik or, oh, mottled, 16 euros. <gasps> wow, I almost didn't see it, but look at this, the velvety goodness. Philodendron melanoprasum is here, very big leaves and a very long stem as well, I guess because it reached the end of the pole, it's now hanging back down, which is sad. So come by there, someone and rescue it. In the meantime, I'm kind of stuck in Simu Blue. <laughs> this cutie they're very full pots and they are 30 euros a lot of plants in there i really want to try and grow this in my terrarium but then i don't need a full pot like this i just want a little cutting and my friend mike actually says that she has one for me but very cute oh look i found some very pretty alocasias as well these are alocasia um Aslani with the purple it's hard to see when the light is not right but in real life it's stunning wonder what these cost nowadays 40 nice two plants in the pot next to beautiful pink princess as well let's see 50 big one too look this is very tall a lot of nice variegation some varicosums as well they have a little bit of damage on the leaves um 27 Oh, and I almost skipped over this at a Papuensi, which is 200 minus 40%. Although some of you have commented before that, no, actually the leaves are dark. I believe them. Some of people have said that this looks more like a billetier, but actually by the way that the back of the leaves is super dark red, the stems are a little bit more orangey, I admit, which is what billetier have, have, but I think it's at a Papuensi. I think they are correct more very bright pink princesses and this looks like mamai maybe growing <laughs> into the next pot even very happy one let's see if we can find the price mamai 80 beautiful maranta lemon lime 30 more variegated monsteras this looks like the fuzzy petiole one Hard to see the prices because there's a lot of pots like in there. Variegated Maranta Kerchoviana. Maybe we can find the price of this. Yes, easy. 20. Ah, but here's another fuzzy patio. Look at this beautiful new leaf. Maybe we can find the price here. No, nope, still not possible. Ooh, the Gloriosum is on sale as well. 150, but 40% off. And look how big it is. Very nice. More Marantas, more Gloriosums. Look at them. Look at them all crawling out of the pots. 
looking at a beautiful varicosum leaf back there. Look at that. That looks like the different form. Oh, another elocasia. This is different light, so you can see it a little bit better how beautiful pink it is. Pink princess, also beautiful pink. Smaller gloriosums. This is nice. Wait, 60? That's very nice. They usually only sold in huge, big sizes, but the small one is actually adorable and cheaper. Nice. More variegated monsteras. There's a ton. More billetier. No, sorry. Ata papuensi. I'm saying it wrong now. And this is one of my favorites to grow in the terrarium, actually. This is Philodendron brontianum, which is very nice and silvery. And when you grow it, instead of up a pole like this, if you grow it up a wall, it will shingle. So it will have one leaf on the left, one leaf on the right, one leaf on the left, one leaf on the right. Very organized, very beautiful. Here's more Monsera dubias and also some Anthurium crystallinums. What's the price of them? Oh, Clarinervium. Sorry, I said it wrong. 23. Oh, there's a ton of stuff. I don't even know what to show you anymore. Also, there's cameras, so don't come and steal shit. You will get caught and processed as a thief. <laughs> I should say that in every video now. People are getting so rude with just taking cuttings. That's not okay. That's actual stealing. What's a planty video without a little rant about not stealing plants? Prop lifting is stupid. Don't do it. It's stealing. I think that's it for the rare plants aisle or like the specials aisle. It's very nice. They still have a lot. And even with the guy saying that they were getting more stuff in and there's not a lot right now, compared to other shops that I've seen, this is still a lot of very cool plants for good prices that you won't find in other random garden centers. So it's all good. Don't worry, Bosrand, you're doing great. A few more bits and bobs I want to show you. Maranta Kerchoviana that I love. I love this one, the normal one, not the variegated one. And that Hoya with the dark edges also looks very nice. And I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this, please let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these videos or other types of videos. Can't wait to edit Costa Rica for you and I'll see you again very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!